Oh, okay, well, today we're working on a Mercedes GLK 250. It's the 2.1 diesel. Uh, we're doing a water pump on it. And right now, currently draining the coolant. Just turns to the left and it backs out, drains out. Uh, water pump is right here. New one. I haven't seen any good videos or any descriptive videos on how to do it on one of these. So we'll be showing you everything. So majority of this video is going to be time lapse, but I'm trying to, I will try to show everything as much as possible. So we're basically just pulling apart whatever is in the way to get to the water pump. And you will be seeing that in a time lapse. All right, with that plastic piece removed in the front. One second. Thank you for kindly interrupting. Um, so this cover is coming off next. And it's pretty simple. Just sits on these little spots basically in a little rubber holes like that so top two pop out and then these pull up should be easy all right and to pull off the belt you will need something like this I could focus that would be great uh, it is a Cornwell 17 millimeter Pop the build off. And we're not changing the belt, so we just look and leave it hanging on that bracket right there. So it's not in my way. Uh, I do have a little mini chair diagram. Sorry for my beautiful drawing, but it's all, it's all I could produce. Not an artist, not yet. But water pump is now visible. Let me get a better angle on it. All right, so looking at it from above, and I have a another one that I'm stopping with. Uh, looking at it, we have one, two, Three, four bolts that we need to pull off. Bolt down here with the O-ring and a hose on the side. So just and then obviously top, but just I like to look at the new part and see how much bolts I have and everything, what to pull off, what to expect. Makes the job a little easier. So now I'm gonna be pulling off those four bolts. I think it's an E12 from the wrong. Yeah. It's an E12. If you see that, E12. Gear wrench does have these. Very nice set. Pull that off real quick. All right, so from this angle, you can kind of see it better. But we do have this hose that we disconnected on the bottom. It's just a metal ring. You pull it back on the metal ring. Let me see if I can point to it. Yeah, you see that metal ring right there? You pull that back and you pull that side out. Coolant will come out, so have something ready on the bottom to pull it off. And let me bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see the bolts I am working with here. So. That one's already backed out, but that's the uh, same one. I think it was the E12. Yeah, it's the E12. This guy. Same with the water pump bol bolts. They fit. And then there's another uh, bolt that can focus. That would be great. Man, I suck at this camera stuff. But this is a T30. It does not want to focus. 
but that's 1830 uh, with the uh, with a hole in the middle so we'll get that off real quick This bolt is holding uh, it's holding on to the water pump and it basically you can take it off once you have the whole thing off or you can do it now it doesn't matter but once you have that pulled out that bottom plastic hose right there is gonna come out with the water pump so either way you're gonna have to swap it over but there's a bolt on the bottom so once you have that out, you can deal with that later. All right, I'm working just to get this thing pulled out currently. Um, they need a T45. Pull out the one of the pulleys, bottom pulleys, right underneath the water pump right there. So it's easier to pull out. Uh, this side, there is a hose that connects. I move that over a little bit right in there those clamps you clamp it down remove it so once uh, you move it to the side so once you're pulling the whole thing out as so oh and then uh undo the top vacuum hose and as gentle as possible without damaging anything we casually pull everything off okay you do have to wiggle it a little bit to pop it out uh, and then now we can pull that side of the hose off Definitely struggling a little bit, but can't damage any hoses, so we gotta keep it as perfect as possible. Use a pick tool if you have to, pick around it so it comes up. I'll be right back okay figure that out pull it off no damage to that hose um, there's a bolt on the bottom right here so once you have a comfortable flip that over and you can pop bolt off it is a t30 with the hole oh hole in the middle t30 pop that Johnny off Should be coming out right after that. Pop the bolt off. Remove that. And then carefully without damaging any of the vacuum hoses, pull it out and we have an old water pump. And on this side, we have all this here. And there is an O-ring that you need to swap out right here. It usually comes in the set. So yeah, that's how you pull it off. And right now I'm gonna be cleaning up the area where it sits, making sure there's no coolant there. It's dry, so once it's put on, it seals correctly. Alright, so we're done cleaning that up. 
new one is right here. Bolts were set and they're all four of these bolts that hold down the water pump. They are the same. So there's no mixing up on that. So all I have to do is just now install that with yeah, there's already a new gasket here. This o-ring I installed already on this side of the hose. And now we just install. Same way we took it off. Okay, so basically everything is done. Um, just go through everything real quick. This hose that I pulled away, just plug back into here, keeping this metal ring down, just clips on. Uh, there's that bracket right there, those two bolts. Uh, reinstall them, tie in this bolt that holds the bottom hose. Uh, tighten these down, four bolts that hold down the water pump reinstall the top one the same way push it in and there's that hose right there that connects on top of the water pump and I think this should be oh yeah and there's this little Johnny right here this wiring that kind of sits on the water pump moves away you just push it out and then clip it back on and of course this main hose right here just take that clip move it out slides out same thing put it back in and now we just have left the one pulley that we removed just reinstall that a little hard to do with one hand and uh, end up just reinstalling this guy and belt goes on and i think we should be good after we have the belt installed put together again this is the diagram for it this is the four cylinder diesel all we gotta do is now top off the coolant. I did close the valve on the bottom for the radiator. It's closed, now we can fill it up and start. I do put a little extra in there since it does lose a little bit once you're taking it out, a lot of it spills out on the floor. So I do put a little bit extra, so once it started, we'll go down, again, double check, make sure the level is perfect. And if you have to, grab a little, whatever you have, suck it all out, how much you need to keep a level, no overfill. You should be good. And this, top piece will be installed and then obviously this cover real quick show you guys two bottom pieces sit down on the bottom and top piece just pushes in the top and that's it's perfect and then you just reinstall the top half like that and it should be good <laughs> 